Hello all, welcome back to my new video. In this video, we want to share our experiences of visiting Nepal so that it will be useful for you when you want to plan in future. So let us jump into this video and see each section one by one. First thing, how to plan. Regarding the connectivity, Nepal is well connected to its main cities like Kathmandu, Pokhara, Janakpur, Nepal Ganj and other cities. There are direct flights by Air India, Indigo and Nepal Airlines from Indian cities like New Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Bengaluru and other cities. The country also has a lot of domestic airports and airlines like Buddha Air, Yeti Airlines, etc. Making it easy for the passengers to plan while visiting various places in Nepal and thus reducing the commute time. For Indians, no visa is required. You just need to carry a government issued ID like a passport, election card, etc. An Aadhaar card is not a valid ID. However, Aadhaar card is accepted at hotels as form of identity. Great news for Indians is that there is no fee to enter Nepal. For many other countries, you need to get a tourist visa in advance which is valid for 6 months. Next section, the people. People are usually very friendly here and of helpful nature. They primarily speak Nepali but can also talk in Hindi, especially cab drivers and hotel staff. Indian currency is accepted at many places, but it is always advisable to carry some Nepali rupees. Please note that 500 rupees, 500 Indian rupees is not accepted at many places. Regarding the traffic, one thing I have observed is that they generally do not honk at the people. If the people crossing the road show you stop sign, then the driver must stop. People are usually very modern and they also wear traditional dresses. There is no dress restriction here. Next section, food. The thali as in Indian thali is called khana set here. I found potatoes and sarsonga saag common in all vegetarian thalis. Sarsonga saag is called rayo saag locally and it tastes very different than the regular saag that we get in India. You will not find big restaurants here except for a few in Kathmandu city. For the people who like liquor, you will find it everywhere including small grocery shops. Next thing, cost of living. If you are from India, you will find the cost of items, tickets to attractions etc on the higher side. Especially day to day needs are as costly as double the price in India and most of the goods are imported from India. The hotel rents are comparable to India. If you are planning to stay in budget hotels, then you must note that most of these hotels do not have elevator. If you are coming with people who cannot climb the stairs, either ensure that your room is on the ground floor or you go for high end hotel with an elevator facility. Last thing, places to visit. The most obvious place to visit in Nepal is the Mount Everest. You can take a flight that will take you near these ranges including the Mount Everest. You can also plan to trek to the base camp or even climb the Mount Everest. It all depends on your capability and the budget. The capital city of Nepal, Kathmandu has many places to visit including Pashupatina Temple, Darba Square, Swayambhu Temple, Bodhnath Stupa and many more. Another city that you can explore is Pokhara which is known for its Arankot viewpoint, Feva Lake, World Peace Pagoda and various caves like Upteshwar Cave, Bat Cave, Mahindra Cave and many other. Likewise, there are many places to visit in Nepal to explore like Chitwa National Park, Lalitpur, Janakpur etc. All these places are very well connected by the airlines. I hope you like this video and it will be very useful for you when you want to plan a trip to Nepal. I hope the information that I provided will help you and please do plan a visit to Nepal as it is a beautiful country. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.